Hi Capricorn, Narai here. Gonna do a reading for you guys. I actually just finished my live. By the time you watch this, my live will have been the day before. Um, but it was pretty good. Um, I will actually, it should actually be displayed at the end of this video. Um, it, it was, it's like an hour long. So, but it's worth watching. It has to do with success, envy, you not being supported, you taking care of you, lots of things. Success. It was really, really good reading. I'm all over the place in it. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate the support. My name is Narai, go by Nay. Let's cleanse my energy from the last read. Here's some spray. I have a fan blowing on me. That's why you're seeing the spray go one way. Bismillah. Protect my energy. Sending positive vibes. So, Spirit, what message do we have? for Capricorn. Queen of Swords. Mm. One more card, please. Wow. Jeez. So the first card I have is, is is the Queen of Swords. This is about having, this is about being intelligent. This is about being able to make a head over heart decision. This is about having boundaries. Very clear boundaries. This is about having direct communication. This is also about not taking yourself so seriously. I have the Magician card. You have to go watch that Capricorn reading if you're okay with an hour long video because the there was a balance card that had all the tools just like the magician card. It was, a, it was talking in regards to manifestation but this is about you manifesting. You having the tools because you have the tools. You're able to manifest successfully I have the Knight of Cups, romantic, emotional, dramatic. There's, there's somebody coming into your energy that wants romance. And in yesterday's reading, I'll say yesterday even though it's tonight, in the previous Capricorn reading, I was talking about the sacral chakra, which has to do with our sex organs. There may be people coming into your energy with real intense sexual energy <clears throat> is it like this you may be moving away from something and for some of you you may be moving away from somebody that has real in intense sex energy sexual energy because that's all they want you may actually meet somebody that is driven by their sexual desire and their lust that is a person that cannot control themselves. Um, but for some of you, you're just moving on to calmer waters. Because you may not like how things are and there are certain things that you have to leave behind in order to find your peace. This is finding relief, having hope. To me, this is you planning to go someplace, planning to do something, being, planning to go on a journey. Ah, the Ten of Pentacles. You guys are focused on your long-term security. That actually showed up in the previous reading too, how to do with security. This has to do with prosperity, security, tradition. 
some of you know what you want. You have to be sure when you meet people that you are on the same page. Make sure a person has the same morals and values. And just because I'm, re I'm repeating myself from the previous reading. Because you and somebody get into something and you are on the same page at that moment. Doesn't mean a person can't change how they feel and what they want. So later down the line, it's very important to inquire with the person, your partner, to make sure you guys are still on the same page because sometimes people feel that they want something and then as soon as they get it or as soon as it gets close, it's a reality check. And then they're like, oh, no, 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 no. They don't want it anymore, so be mindful. But this is in regards to you guys having long-term security, planning for retirement, having a nest egg, leaving something for your offspring. And then I have the wheel. This is your luck changing. This is your luck changing. This is good things headed your way. This is pro progress, positive change, success. Success. Lots of success. And you guys might be starting something new, but there is going to be success. And then I have the release card. It's the death. One and four one and three is four. It's about finding your stability. Endings, transformation, and freedom. And actually a transformation card came out in the last Capricorn reading. It was alive. You guys need to check it out because it's crazy. The same things are coming out for the most part. But I feel like you had to let something go to, to cleanse yourself, to release, to refresh, to purify. For some of you, it was an aspect of yourself. And for others of you, it may have been a relationship that just wasn't serving you. Or the idea of having a relationship with a particular person that just wasn't giving you what you deserve. But what you will find with the death is freedom also. With an ending, there is always a beginning. Unless we're just going to leave it there. And we're going to see what comes out. Solar plexus. Oh my gosh. take this as the last card I have the solar plexus let's see what the solar plexus is associated with give me one moment solar plexus solar plexus Wait a minute. All right. The solar plexus is located above the navel and extends up to the sternum. It's here. This, this forms your deepest connection with willpower. One moment. It says it has to do with self-esteem and the need to control others. Wow. Solar plexus r refers to the third chakra. 
It spins in the area around the do uh, abdomen, above the belly, up to the breastbone. Yep, right here. And it says, it provides a source of personal power and re relates to self-esteem, warrior energy, and the power of transformation. Y'all are going through some beautiful changes is all I know. And then I have the destiny card. There's certain things that are supposed to happen for you. You have to trust the universe. You really have to watch the last reading. And then I have the truth. This is in regards to you being true to who you are and standing in your truth. Makes me think of the, the queen of swords. And then I have partnerships and alliances. Everybody's not supportive of you, but there are going to be people who you least expect it that are going to have your back. That is what I have for you, Capricorn. You guys are amazing, and I love you. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and until next time, bye.